and this will be the final look here and start of this really nice Troy built generator that I got back running had to take the carburetor apart and clean it and I've cleaned this up and this is like brand new it's running much better now after letting it run for quite a while we'll give it another start here it's got that 15 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine and that carburetor was gummed up on it also have taken the battery out to size it it won't charge I'll show the battery here as well and I did put my battery charger on here and it's just not strong enough to turn that starter over but starter still good just needs a new battery so we're gonna see if we can find a battery online as well for my neighbor here it's a really nice commercial type generator here 8,000 watts of course, this electric start, 13,500 starting watts, 8,000 watts. Don't know if I showed. This will come out the model and serial number of this. And I'll also show the engine model and serial number since I've got it clean now. So let's give this a start here. It's a really nice generator. Give it a start and I'll take it back to the neighbor and see if we can find him a new battery for it. And here is the battery out of this Troy built as I'm just sizing to see if I can find a replacement for this. You have to take these four bolts out here in this cover to get the battery out of here. But this is original battery in this Troy built. So let's give the Troy built generator a start here now. Put the switch on. I'm going to cut the gas on here, and we'll give it a little bit of choke, and see if it starts easy today. Here we go. there showing that it's charging. needs to burn all that old gas out. I think the neighbor will be happy it's fixed. best way to cut it off. Just cut the fuel off. And let it burn everything out.
And there we go. Gotta keep that carburetor from gumming up. Some tips for safety and how to store these as well. Never run these indoors because of the exhaust fumes. You always hear about accidents where these have been run in a garage and exhaust fumes getting the house. Always pull these outside. And it, start these at least once a month. And when you run these, cut the fuel off, let it burn all the gas out of the carburetor so we won't have a gummed up problem when you do try to start it. Just put that on your calendar to start these once a month, first of every month. We're going to see if we can get a new battery for this. And also add some fuel stabilizer in your tank as it's being stored. These generators will be ready when you are and will last a long time.